I'll never forget and forever regret when I was a tot and a teen. I was a cinema dope, clear through cinemascope, but I looked at the stars as if between bars for a wee glimpse of me on the screen. Clark Gable was burly, Betty Grable was girly, and I fell somewhere in between. To tell you the truth, even in my late youth, I was never quite anyone seen. I was that clever white kid you meant to, but never quite did. So all of my dates were with cinema greats and some pears on the first mezzanine. Peter Lawford was gentle, Joan Crawford was mental, and I fell somewhere in between. Just once a great star, Miss Deborah Carr, told a shy, timid guy that one doesn't have to conform to society's norm. But after tea and sympathy, of course it turned out that he wasn't. Like a vampire, my face was reflected, no place, not a trace of my sort to be seen. All of life was up there, and I was nowhere, no light cast on what I might mean. And then later and later, the revival theater kept the truth of my youth ever green. Dear Betty was feral, Nelson Eddy was sterile, Dietrich ambiguous, Danny Kay conspicuous, Garland was sweet. Marlin mere meat, and in hell somewhere in between. I fell somewhere in between. Then the sixties they came, and someone spoke my name, loud, proud, and stereophonic. Dear Dirk Bogard took it all rather hard, but his look said he took it. Dear God, what a tonic. Then came John Voigt, who didn't enjoy it, and Don Murray wasn't too keen. Then quite a lot of gay villainy, it's a wonder I didn't kill any. Then prick up your ears, which revived all one's fears with the blood of the stud on the queen. But then sweet Maurice hugged his punk in release, and I felt somewhere in between at last. I felt somewhere in between.